So first of all, we have to create a shape. Let's be the sphere with a very high frequency. Uh, maybe even more in the final variations. After that, we just apply the standard uh, standard attribute noise with uh, position and set up wherever you like. Apply the amplitude, the element size, maybe play with this parameter, amplitude scale, <coughs> and animate the office of this noise. Make it wherever you like. So you will have this simple animation. After that, um these guys are uh, explain this method in more details i just want to say that uh, we apply the anti anti alias noise and um, uh, in the input we just add the vector to vector 4 in this uh, parameter which uh, can connect time so your noise will depend on time or just promote this parameter and you can control this manually after that you can just play with these RAM parameters to uh, control your noise control your shapes make it larger or smaller something like this uh, and here is the this force component that i control here i animate this force component and i also animate the office of the noise so uh, just play with this uh, keys and make the shape you like so uh, i also want to say that it will not be something like ping pong animation make some more unregular unregular uh, curves here and uh, after that apply some um, normals to actually this is a strange thing because uh, we apply in here the displacement by normals but we don't have normals or even if i just you know connect the normals here and uh, apply the normal uh, at the beginning so nothing will change so i think we just do it without these manipulations so after that uh, just apply a loop knot this is a standard make loop knot but don't forget to uh, change this parameter to the primitive pretty uh, easy and uh, fast and easy <laughs> okay but in this case i don't like this uh, uh, here is the result with the standard loop node but in this case i don't like this extra edges here so if you're okay with this you can go with uh, this easy way and you will have this loop noise animation in a couple steps so here's the first method the second method is uh, without this um, extra edges so the first step the same normals uh, applying this noise 
and again normals but in this case we are applying the loop animation only for the first noise so we will have the smooth animation with first uh, it earlier it calls mountain but now it's just uh, attribute noise after that uh, in this uh, model, in this node, we animate the office, office with loop. Okay, so this parameter, this value, should be the same as this value. So value at the beginning should be the same the value at the end, in the end. And I want to pay your attention to make animation more smooth. Uh, these two values should be the same so value 1.7 and slope 1.35 so here should be the same 1.7 and 0 0.5 and in each curve the key should be the same so in this way your animation will look more smooth And again, apply normals. Uh, if you want to have some motion blur at the rendering, so just calculate the velocity. I think it's velocity. Yeah. We <coughs> okay. Uh, I also apply the ambient occlusion mask, so you can see edges more clearly okay so this is the result second result without this extra edges it can make animation more smooth or faster wherever you like add some more edges here if you like to add more edges so let's say if we have 0.1 here we have to multiply it by 10 so we will have the value from 0 to 1 and after that we can actually play with this ramp parameter and uh, this way you can add the more edges to your let's say and multiply this by 20 you will have more edges on your shape okay so okay uh, so this is a second method the third method is if you want to get a little bit more uh, specific shape so uh, it's about 275 so uh, nothing special just animate the uh, animate each uh, spheres okay just animate each spheres in um, some different ways so again this uh, value should be the same so we will have the smooth animation and here's what I have here's what I have at the end so just loop this animation in the curves uh, loop this animation with curves so this how you can see it's a uh, pretty smooth <coughs> okay after that VDB from polygons smooth VDB convert VDB to polygons um, remesh all this stuff smooth it if you like and again uh, 
in this case I just animate the the office uh, and uh, here is third method so the third method is uh, is it's about this uh, animation of these uh, spheres so just everything is looped in the uh, just make uh, the same key here and here and everything will loop here so I think it's so uh, you can see how it works you just have more control let's say you want to uh, you know make, make these spheres uh, or maybe these big spheres where is it this one maybe just uh, you know make it more or here or make it more you know faster or uh, slower than faster again so you can control this uh, this way all right so here's the third method and the last one is okay <laughs> it's this in interesting interesting shape you know let's say you want to uh, just uh, just uh, animate these spheres here so put it just right here so you will have something like this all right just just a little bit more control okay this uh, method number four is if you really want to get something special shape let's say your customer wants to use exactly this shape so maybe it's your logo or for some you know for some tasks the shape should be the same exactly the same so i just make a simple model of this shape subdivide this and uh use uh, ray trace not ray not to make the sphere from this shape okay uh, after that I just smooth it a little bit and to make it more smooth I just uh, ray it's this shape again and smooth it again after that I apply the normals so we will we will have we have the sphere from this one in this stage we have the sphere all right maybe transform it a little bit like as you like and again the noise with some animated office actually I think um, in this case we have to because here I have uh, the two hundred fifty frames animation. I have to use the. Move this key to 250 and just like this. Maybe you don't like this variation, so play with this parameter and you will have the more suitable result. Okay, again, here I just animate the office, play with this ramp to get shape that I really like all right maybe just you know just make it something like this and after that 
I can actually it's just a linear animation nothing special don't loop the key just a linear uh, animation that's it all right uh, again normals add some color I don't know why I did this maybe add some rotation after that I just blend two shapes with this uh, just a key animation with this parameter, just animate with blend parameter and add some normals here. Uh, just make uh, blending more smooth. I make this, I, I, I uh, get more time about 100 frames for blending. Uh, 75 frames for animation and again 100 frames for blending back so we just uh, blend we just back to the initial shapes at the end so this is how to make the loop animation okay I think it's this is it so you have the four way to loop the noise i hope it will be helpful for you have a nice time and thanks a lot